If you have any questions about your TV repair, please leave a comment in the comment section below this video. Be sure to include your TV brand, TV model number, and the symptoms and problems that your TV is showing. This information will help us to best diagnose the problem with your TV and suggest a fix. We will reply to your message as quickly as we can. After we reply to your comment, you should receive a notification in your email account. Be sure to check the social and promotion tabs and the spam folder in your email. Thanks and we look forward to assisting you on your TV repair journey. In this video, we are going to go over a troubleshooting method you should try first if you have a 14 blink code on your Panasonic Plasma TV. Here's a list of models that this troubleshooting method will work for. We will show how to test for a short in a few different lines on the power supply board. When checking for continuity, you will want to set your meter to ohms and then put your negative lead on the chassis and your positive lead on the test point. You will know your board has a short if your meter shows zero ohms or a number that is close to zero. When using your meter to test the pins on the connections, the only pin that should show up as a short to ground is the pin that is labeled ground. Not every connection will have a ground pin, but if you see that, it is normal for that pin to show up as a short to ground. The first place to check is P2 on the power supply board. If pin 1 was shorted and showed 0 ohms, you would want to disconnect the line from the SC board and recheck the pins. If the pin is still shorted without the line connected, then you will need to replace the power supply board. If the pin is not shorted anymore, then you will want to further troubleshoot. Further troubleshooting the SC board, you will want to disconnect this connection and then disconnect the ribbon cable as well. Then go ahead and check the pins here, and they should be just like P2, where one of the pins should be open and the other short to ground. If you find a short here, then you will want to further troubleshoot to see if that short is being caused by the SC board the SU board or the SD board. Next you can test at TPSC1. If you do find a short, then you can disconnect the SU board and retest. If the short goes away, then you know the SU board is bad and will need to be replaced. If the short stays, then you will want to reconnect the SU board. Then disconnect the SD board shown here and retest to see if the short goes away. If it does go away, then you know the SD board is good, and since the SU and SD boards did not show shorts, then you should replace the SC board. If the board shows a short, then you will want to replace the SD board. Next we will want to check P11. If you find a short here, then you will want to disconnect P11 and test again. If you still have a short, then you will need to replace the power supply board. If the short goes away after disconnecting, then you will want to check the points on the SS board. Again, disconnect the cable and then check the points for a short. If you find a short, then replace the SS board as that is most likely the problem. If you check both points on the power supply and do not find any shorts, then you will want to continue on further troubleshoot. Is checking the connection between the P6 and the A6. This cable here that runs between uh, the connection here at the P6 on the power supply board and the A6 connection here on the A main board. So when you're checking these connections, you want to make sure that they're firmly in and seated correctly. Once you've seen that the connections are seated properly, then you'll want to unplug the TV and wait for four minutes. After that four minutes, then reconnect the TV to power. If the TV is working correctly again, then you should be good to go and you can stop diagnosing. If you plug the TV back in and your TV is still not working correctly, then you'll want to unplug the TV and then plug it back in and press the power switch immediately after the first relay click 
from the power supply is heard. So after you plug your TV back in, you will hear the power supply click and you'll want to press in the power button on your TV. The blink code LED will now either switch to a solid red error code or it'll continue to blink. If it stays solid red, then you will want to replace the power supply board right here. If the LED continues to blink, then you'll want to replace the A main board, which is right over here. So once you've checked these connections and they look good, if you plug your TV in and you're still having problems, unplug it, wait a second, plug it back in. After you hear that click from the power supply, immediately press the power button on the outside of your TV and then check the error code. If the error code continues to blink, then you'll want to replace your A main board over here. If the error code goes solid red, then you'll want to replace the power supply board here. Now before removing these boards or replacing them, you'll want to do a few things. You'll want to turn off your TV, unplug it from any power. You'll also want to make sure that you've grounded yourself properly so that you don't damage any of the boards or the TV. Then after that, you'll want to go ahead and remove these cables one by one from the board as we go around here. After you've removed all the cables, then you can undo the screws here with a screwdriver. Your board will simply come off and then you can replace it with a new board. Put the screws back in to secure it to the chassis. And then put the cables back together on your replacement board. Thank you for watching one of our many tutorials here at ChopJimmy.com. If you have any further questions regarding your repair, simply post a question in the comment section below or call our award-winning customer service team at the number on your screen. We strive to learn and share new TV repair tips every day. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and grow with us. Share our videos with your friends to help us spread the savings. And don't forget to hit that like button.